it steers the Asia-Pacific region into the direction of trade liberalisation, economic integration and win-win arrangement versus economic isolation, market fragmentation and protectionism. It demonstrates the viability of a comprehensive free trade agreement of a very large geographical area while addressing the downsides of globalisation imbalances. This is especially significant for developing countries to which many ASEAN countries belong. RCEP as a building block welcomes and embraces multilateral system. It signals to the world that cooperation is possible and in fact it's a, it's a positive way out from the current path of protectionism and isolation. If RCEP moves forward to version 2.0 and 3.0 in subsequent years, Asia-Pacific will cement its leading role as a growth centre for the world for many years to come. Within the region, we will see great innovations and scientific discoveries and technological applications alongside with steady and systematic building up of infrastructure in sea and airports, in power plants, road and rail network, and in green urbanisation. We will see massive uplifting of standard of living for the young population in RCEP 15 member states.